Hi guys, this is Maria. Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to give you an update on my sedum and senecio collection and share some tips for taking care of them. And I would like to start with one of the senecio plants that's very desirable to have in your succulent collection. But I have found it to be uh, very fussy. I'm talking about senecio rolianus or string of pearls. In the past I have lost two of those and I was even wondering if I should try another one. But this year it did really good for me. So I want to share with you what I did different this year, which I think may be helpful to you in growing and taking care of this plant. So let me take it down from the shelf and show you how it is doing. So here it is, guys. Here is my Senecio Roliana string of pearls. Look at, guys, how long it is. And it's just so beautiful and it's growing a lot more branches from the center this is the best that it has grown for me from the past years and um, I, I'm gonna tell you what I did different so in the past years I have kept Sinesi Rolianus always uh, up front facing south or facing the corner of the south and west and um, it would either shrivel or you know get brown and start losing roots and leaves and I really didn't know uh, what would be the best spot for it so this year I placed it in the greenhouse that I have facing east on my uh, deck and it had a lot nice airflow because uh, it doesn't have it's not closed it just has like nets around so the air was flowing all the time but it wouldn't get soaked with the rain i was controlling the water uh, that this plant gets i think it really likes a little bit less sunlight not facing south and it likes good airflow and uh, when it comes to watering i watered it once a week during the summertime and um oh no I see some mealy bugs but not much so I'm gonna have to really watch it uh, they always find a way to your best looking succulents I mean I swear whenever I admire some succulent their mealy bugs get to it what, what I was saying is that I was watering it once a week and um, I didn't water a lot but I made, made sure that it that the roots get water because I think it has a little bit more shallow roots and I never changed the pot so I didn't give it the bigger pot I think it was very happy in a smaller pot uh, that it originally had so when I bought it maybe it had like um, an inch or two dripping on the few sides so this is all growth from this summer and fall so doing really good I'm gonna have to spray now this with um, I just saw a few mealy bugs so I'm gonna quickly spray with alcohol and the, the reason why I think it got mealy bugs is since I got it inside it was close to some of my stapelias that had abundance of uh, mealy bugs so I'm just gonna have to watch it so it doesn't and now I'm not gonna put it back under lights because I sprayed it with alcohol I'm just gonna place it here in front of the fan and let it kind of rest for next you know 12 hours all right so let me show you some few other senecio plants that I have and then I'm gonna go back and um, uh, share a little more about my sedum collection so here are two more senecio plants that I have this one is senecio crocissimus or ver vertical leaf senecio I think it's a really pretty plant and can, it can grow quite quite a bit. I think it's a fast grower and it, I don't think it's very hard to take care of. Uh, I noticed that both all these Senecios like a little bit less bright sunlight so I have not kept them facing south. They were in the greenhouse facing east. Currently they're under lights and they were attacked by mealybugs in the past and I think I see some right now right here. And maybe here, um, so I'm gonna have to watch and spray it. The, this one here is called Pickle Plant Senecio Stapeliformis. I got this uh, through swap with Emily from the Succulent Greenhouse. And it has been growing uh, nicely. I think it was this height when I got it. So this was new growth, new growth. And this baby uh, here grew as well. 
uh, so it's doing uh, okay I think it's a little bit slower grower I really like the unique look of it I think Senecius look really unique a lot of them and uh, again I uh, don't give them a lot of water and, and I think that they prefer to be in a smaller pots this one here guys is I think uh, Sedum Morganianum uh, I forgot the difference between the one that has more round leaves and the ones that uh, has longer leaves I, I mean the idea I'm gonna try to find it and type it up but this one these were just the cuttings it was much smaller I'm very happy with this plant and I got these cuttings from small conservatory uh, in Berrien Springs from Andrews University and I wish I showed you how it, they look because it really nicely filled the pot. They grew a lot this summer and I found that this one is much easier to take care of and propagate than the other one. Uh, the one that uh, squirrel destroyed, I can put the link to the video where uh, you know I had to uh, pick up the pieces from my uh, long Sedum Morganianum. Anyway, uh, I can show you how the Sedum Morganianum, the other kind, that I kind of gave up because it was not doing great for me. I took it to the conservatory and it's been doing great there. Just like with this one and, and with the Senecio Rolianus, uh, they were not facing direct sunlight uh, south, but they were in a greenhouse uh, getting east sunlight. And the same thing in conservatory, and I'm gonna soon show you how the other one is doing. It was in more of a a shaded area so not having a lot of direct sunlight so as you can see doing really good no pests uh, branching really nice I'm very happy with this plant this one here is my sedum clavatum I was always uh, since collecting succulents I was big fan of this plant I really like uh, that uh, you know compact look on the tops the round leaves I think it's adorable and uh, there was a few plants that I bought and put in this pot so since then they grew a lot and it's really hard to go in between and clean the dead leaves when I do get them uh, but I just love how this one looks and I actually don't think I'm gonna be cutting uh, anything I'm just gonna leaving it to grow as it is and I'm not gonna change the pot either uh, so this one, uh, my experience with a lot of sedums uh, and sedum clavatum is that they don't like a lot of water. So um, when I'm watering once a week succulent, sometimes I just skip this one. I just don't water it because you're going to notice they will get uh, mushy yellow leaves when they have too much water. So to avoid that, I just sometimes just don't water them. Skip a watering and just do twice a month. This is actually not a uh, them. It's called Sedeveria pink granite, but I'm, sh I'm keeping it together with my uh, sedum collection because I think it resembles sedums. It had absolutely amazing colors this summer. I'm going to try to find a picture to show you. Uh, but it's a really beautiful uh, plant. Um, I've been watering it once a week and it will tell you when it needs more water because you will get a little more dry leaves on the stems but I think it looks nice even when the some of the stems are a little bit more bare beautiful colors uh, gets pinkish uh, orangish greenish tones this succulent here I have for a long time uh, it was among some of the first succulents that I got it's sedum hernandesi and um, it went through periods where it stretched and had a lot of gap between the leaves and then in this year it filled up a lot by new growth so I just I really like this plant I think it's very interesting looking uh, jelly like leaves uh, pretty dark green color that sometimes get like white on top and don't be scared of that uh, they just do that there is few other sedums that do the same thing get this uh, whitish uh, look on leaves uh, sometimes they do can get pests, uh, mealybugs can attack them and then you have to spray them but this is another one that in my experience uh, doesn't like a lot of water so sometimes I skip watering when I'm watering the rest of the succulents and just do it twice a month. Two more sedums that I have here. Uh, this one is adorable. I forgot the name and ID of this one. 
uh, but it has these like tiny jelly looking like leaves and it's also dark uh, green but it can get uh, like orangish color reddish tones it really um, it's a really interesting succulent um, I think this one does like to be watered regularly maybe because it's smaller because I didn't notice that it sheds a lot of leaves when I when it gets really dried up uh, same with this one this is a um, I think sedum for for a sale a really interesting little one it's kind of like a miniature sedum hernandesi it really resembles that one and again I don't know if it's because it's small uh, it does need it gets dry quite a bit and it will shed leaves if I don't water it regularly but all of these have been uh, in the areas where uh, they were not um, facing south but facing east this is my sedum trillaceae trillaceae I, I don't know if I pronounce it well uh, but it resembles a lot sedum covatum this one has stretched uh, this year a lot during the summertime and um, has been a little fussy you know drying leaves then getting yellow leaves so I don't know if it needed more water more light and water I'm not sure but I'm gonna just leave it as it is um, I know that sometimes they can have bare branches and have rosettes on top so and then grow new have new growth on the on the stems so I'm just gonna probably leave it as it is and not cut it or propagate it even though it has been growing roots on the stems uh, so um, yeah that's another sedum that I have this one as well even though it's not a sedum uh, this is corpuscularia lecmani I keep it together with sedums and senaceas it's such an interesting plant with stacked up leaf formation kind of like in chrysalis and sedums and um, gets dried up more than other plants so very different than sedums and senaceas this one does like to be watered well it's stretched a bit this one needs a lot of sunlight in my experience so um, I always had it stretch a bit like these here you see the length between the leaves but I really like it even when it's stretched. So guys, I do have a few other sedums outside. They uh, can easily survive uh, minus uh, below freezing temperatures. So I just need to remember to take them when we're moving, they're in the pots outside. Uh, so I can show you in spring how they're doing. Um, Thank you guys for watching, hope these tips were helpful and if you have any questions you can post them below in the comments. I will see you soon in the next video.